Hello and good evening sa inyo lahat. So as usual, uh, ako ang nauna dahil itong ating mga kasamahan ay uh, yun, yung isa naliligo. Kasi <laughs> alam nyo na kung sino yun. And uh, sinabi natin kagabi and I'm, I'm uh, quite uh, positive that uh, maraming nag-aantabay ng uh, kung ano yung uh, kinahinatlan ng ating uh, kagalang-galang na Senador Robin Padilla na nagkaroon ng uh, isang Senate hearing umano ngayong araw na to uh, patungkol sa charter change. Alright? So, ang alam natin, be it in Congress or uh, the Senate, the Committee on Charter Change, dito ako para medyo natatakman. The Committee on Charter Change is the one responsible for Uh, discussions on ano yung papalitan sa ating uh, saligang batas. Okay? Kaya lang, unfortunately, ewan ko kung uh, medyo may pagka Jeffex yung ating news kagabi uh, na itong picture ba to? Okay? Uh, how about si ano? May mga nagpapashoutout kanina. No? Papashoutout kanina galing sa Hong Kong ba yan? Sino ba yan? Alright, let me just check. Magandang gabi, na-miss ko po yung live nyo with Sas. Sana si Sas will be able to join us tonight. Pero, okay. Uh, I was trying to look for uh, the video of uh, today's hearing from the Senate. And all I can find is actually from the previous Senate. And uh, the last one I could find is a very curious one because um, sa Senate Committee on Constitutional Amendments, okay, alam natin na sa Constitution natin merong uh, provision done on the freedom of the press. And uh, I just want to share this with you uh, dahil ito ay napaka-curious no, uh, na portion ng isang, actually, ito ato yung pinakahuling hearing na naka-broadcast mula sa ating uh, Senado during the 18th Congress and um, malamang ang head pa nito ay si uh, dating kagalang-galang na Kiko hindi si Kiko <laughs> hindi si Kiko Abaya si Kiko Pangilinan alright, sige para lang nga medyo uh, ganahan si Atty. Ahmed na bilisan ang pagbibihis And uh, sana si Sas ay uh, ganahan ding sumawsaw na kagad. Sinas daw ng araw. O nga, hindi ko mapatay. Hindi ko alam kung nasa ng switch ng ilaw sa likod ko. Kaya nga, tinatakpan ko na lang yung ulo. Okay? And then yung isa naman dito, ay, sinlakas ng ano. Para akong merong ano, no? Holy Spirit na pagbaba. So i-play ko lang to para ganahan kayo, ha? Okay. Ano ba tong uh, ipi-play ko? This is part of the uh, last hearing uh, by Senator Kiko Pangilinan. And uh, after their usual very long introduction, I um, unang-unang uh, resource person uh, itong uh, kanyang ini-introduce. So I'll play it right now. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's there. And I'll play it. Wapo ni Kiko. of my beloved university, the University of the Philippines. Uh, good morning. Uh, do we have sound? Uh, Professor Chua, you you may, do you have an opening statement? Uh, magandang umaga po, Senator Pangilinan, at sa ibang mga guests po sa committee na to. Isang correction lang po, uh, ako po, Attorney Seng, hindi po ako sound? doktor, wala po akong doctorate. Hindi po kagaya ni Drs. Ong and Cabanyas. Professor Chua po ay okay na po or Ivan po. Um, I don't have an opening statement or presentation today. However, I'm going to make myself available to the committee uh, for questions. I understand from the committee secretary that the committee is interested in a study that I have done uh, in connection with the 2019 electoral misinformation. Yes, uh, we were hoping that you could give us the highlights of your study. Uh, yes, would you be able to do this, uh, Professor? Certainly, certainly, uh, Senator. Please, you, yeah, yes, for the record, uh, you, you have the floor. Thank you, Paul. Um, 
In 2019, the University of the Philippines initiated a collaborative fact-checking project called Check.ph. It brought together three universities, the UP, La Salle, and Ateneo, and 11 media partners, including, uh, at the time, uh, ABS-CBN, Phil Star, the Philippine Star, Rappler, Verifiles, uh, ABS-CBN, and a number of others, to fact-check the 2019 elections. Altogether, there were 131 fact-checks that came out of that initial. Okay. Bago ko ipapatuloy, do I have sound? Do we have sound? Paki-respond lang ng konti, no? Uh, because I really don't know if there's sound coming out. Okay. So, first thing that uh, caught my attention is they're not talking about federalism. They're not talking about uh, any other uh, portion of the Constitution uh, in their Constitutional Committee on uh, Constitutional Amendments or, or the Senate Committee on Constitutional Amendments. But they're actually talking about fact-checking, okay, in the last one. So, hinihintay ko lang kung si Attorney Ahmed has uh, been able to find that video for today's uh, hearing. Uh, kaya lang, I'm just uh, going back. Para lang tayong ano, uh, minutes of the meeting. Kasi ito yung pinakahuli ata na committee meeting nitong uh, constitutional amendments. And by the way, Robin Padilla is the very first um, dawa, sabi ng isang balita na nabasa ko galing sa Rappler, Take it with a grain of salt. Is the very first uh, chairman of this constitutional committee or our committee on constitutional amendments na hindi abogado. So ito, abogado umano ang chairman ito. So I'll play it and listen to this woman's uh, uh, professor naman po siya, in fairness. In fairness, uh, she's a professor from UP. Okay? University of the Philippines po ang ibig sabihin yan sa mga nagdududa kung anong pinagsasabi niya. Okay, so ipiplay ko na lang po. Initiative. And these are some of our findings. Um, first of all, as we all uh, found out during those, uh, based on that, the main platform or the main spread of, spreader of misinformation related to that elections was, of course, Facebook, uh, which accounted for, like, um, I'll give you the all numbers, not the, uh, about 67%. Most of the deceptive claims were made on Facebook, followed by television. Please take note that what we fact check were not just those that appeared on social media, but also on traditional media, which includes newspapers, television, and radio. Uh, a lot of these came in the form of visuals. They were visual content is the key. At the time, in 2019, a lot of these would involve the use of infographics, art cards, uh, quote cards, followed by images or a combination of images and text. At the time, in 2019, videos con constituted just a smaller proportion. Of course, we're seeing uh, a different situation right now. Uh, the main sources of mis uh, misinformation and disinformation, of course, were largely came largely from netizens or user-generated content, followed by candidates who made false or misleading claims in speeches, in fora, in statements. I just like to point out that uh, I think one of the things that people are the most interested in would be who were the most targeted by mis or disinformation in the 2019 elections. Unfortunately, it was the political opposition. Uh, the bulk uh, were directed at the uh, Ocho Derecho. Uh, okay, narinig nyo po yun. Putulin ko lang muna ha. The most targeted daw of disinformation uh, during the 2019 election is the political opposition. Who was the political opposition at the time? The 2019 election was a senatorial election. And ito yung Ocho Derecho uh, campaign. And uh, obviously, the political opposition won nothing. Okay? Now, this is now 2022 and they're talking about the upcoming elections. Okay. Elections are a part of a constitutional, uh, of our constitutional concerns or constitutional issues. Why? Elections are part of our democratic institutions. And our democratic system is outlined in our constitution. And this woman is saying to the Senate 
to the Senate of the Republic of the Philippines that there has been massive disinformation in uh, the 20, 2019 elections. And this, Professor Chua, by the way, if you're not, uh, okay, Attorney Ahmed is here and joining us uh, on the stream. So, wag nyo akong, ano, I'm just uh, doing Attorney Ahmed a minutes of the previous meeting. Okay? There you go. Yes, sir. Uh, Professor Chua is the one who is uh, uh, responsible for the uh, early verification of Rappler's accreditation to Pointa. All right? This is a very, very truthful person who uh, who uh, teaches uh, fact-checking in the University of the Philippines. And she is one of the last, uh, last uh, resource persons of the Committee on Charter Change in the Senate. The last committee that was held by a lawyer. And now they're expressing so much concern because uh, the Committee on Charter Change is headed for the first time though in history, I don't know if that is true, sabi ng Rappler by a non-lawyer named Robin Padilla. All right? The grandson of uh, Ambrosio Padilla. <laughs> is he the grandson of Rappler? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, let's see. Let's see what is the concern of this committee. Okay? This is the minutes of the previous meeting. So sabi niya, grabe daw on disinformation in the 2019 election. Uh, of the 131 fact checks uh, that were done, uh, 35 or, sorry, I need to check. Yeah, uh, the bulk would be uh, against Ocho Derecho. There were a, a few against Hukong or Papago, but these constitute only a tenth of the misinformation. We'd like to also point out that uh, it was not just the party that was singled out, but uh, actually candidates that were singled out. The opposition, Ocho Derecho State, notably, they were, uh, notably Marojas and um, Kino, were the most targeted, who at the time, of course, were the most targeted. Why did they target Bama Kino and Marojas? I'd also like to stress that our state uh, shows that land the land combination land of land negative land. messaging and positive me messaging. When it came to the political opposition, this was largely negative messaging. And when it came to you, you Hukong, know. this was so largely positive messaging. Oh. So that... Uh, uh, Can you uh, clarify that? When it comes to... Uh, the political opposition, this was mostly negative messaging for what so was busy, directed at the or or directed against the political okay. opposition they were mostly negative messaging for and then the positive uh, messaging was directed at at uh, so which means i just like to stress that the misinformation or disinformation can be both uh, positive messaging or negative messaging in this instance we see um, falsehoods or claims that it promote um, and in the case of the political opposition, uh, attract them or uh, uh, demonize them, along with the political in opposition. Other words, in other words, Professor, lies to, to attack and lies to praise. Yes, Paul. Sir, uh, do you see the smile? The, the smile is, uh, okay, let me just, uh, I cannot remember. Hello, muna kay, ano, Shirley Ann Cajes. From Tagum City, Davao del Norte. Mabuhay! Okay. <laughs> and good evening po sa ating mga, mga, mga followers na nandito sa Rogueta City. Kanina ay eh, pinupunan nila ako sa aking uh, <laughs> sinasabi kagabi. Hindi naman, natutuwa sila. No? Uh, kasi this morning, hindi uh, ko inasahan. Meron pala akong followers dito. At nakasama ko pa doon sa Island Hopping. <laughs> that is uh, a lot more interesting than this woman. This woman is like talking oh. to the dead or something. Now this one is now uh, okay. I'm do, just doing ano ha, kasi hindi ako sure kung nagkaroon ba talaga ng hearing si Robin Padilla. I'm just making a, a brief comparison here of what is really happening in that committee. Is it a serious committee or a joke? Okay, because uh, yeah. we're, we're we're hoping to see a serious hearing from a person named. Robin Hood 
Padilla, whom uh, people uh, consider as a joke. And I think this this damn uh, hearing by this committee in the in its last session is a bigger joke. Oh, this woman is a by, joke already. This, uh, well, the few it, sentences that she has said, she's a <laughs> joke. Do you want some more, ano? Do you want some more, uh, sige, self-flagellation tayo muna for a while before we will go attacking. So both ways, pagsisinungaling para, para siraan at pagsisinungaling para uh, bumango. No? Yes. Okay. I would just like to be That is careful really brilliant, about the word lie because it is very difficult right. to a certain motivation. Uh, and even okay. us among fact checkers and academics, wait, wait, wait. we don't, don't use don't the lie loosely unless we're able to establish. A, a lie is not uh, determined by motivation, okay? A lie is determined whether whether, oh, or it's whether what you're saying is truthful or not. Whatever your motivation is. Oh, whether a lie. Can, I tell you a now lie. that your voice is not even good for a mass communications professor. That it, it that won't be that won't yeah. matter what the motivation is. Oh, that's right. It's true. <laughs> that's right. For example, uh, well, uh, uh, truth, because truth is it's it's a relationship oh. between a statement and a state of affairs. So oh. I have a statement. Mm. I am awesome. If you look at mm. me, and I'm really awesome, then that statement is true. It's not a lie. Man. If you uh, look at oh. me and. Uh, and you hear a statement that uh, Ahmed is like a uh, ano uh, ugly ganyan that is a lie oh because it's not true oh, oh another yeah. statement si Ahmed kakaligo lang ako naligo ko ng dagat hindi pa ako nagbabanlaw pero nabasa ako ng ulan kaya yun lang yun truth yun no matter what my motivation is oh so oh. sige pat, pat, pero let's this woman let's listen to her oh. hi uh sa oh, pa isali natin si Sasuke isali so this information or misinformation to promote someone's candidacy and misinformation or disinformation to attack and to uh, negate or to cancel someone's candidacy yeah yes understood. One of the most victimized were, was the Makabayan block. Hmm. So those belong to the Makabayan block. But that is not to say that uh, those were the only ones discredited. Even the media, uh, news organizations were also discredited during the 2019 elections. Yan lang po when it comes to the 2019 elections okay thank you okay. one quick question professor mm. that was the 2019 elections we have a 2022 elections coming up mm. given what has oh. happened then mm. and uh, no, no, the no, interventions no, no. if no, no, any no, no. or look, the look, 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 actions look. taken if any the stakeholders whether the political players whether the social players. media giants mm. whether government uh no, 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 no. What, I, what do you want to point out? Do you out? think it would be any different in, 20, in the 2022 elections? Uh, you Senator, we have revived check.ph for the 2022 elections. And this time we have more partners. Uh, from 14 in the 2019 elections, we have by now, I've lost count, maybe more than 30 wow. partners. And we already have since January curated more than 200 fact checks. Unfortunately, the trend persists, despite the efforts that have gone into stemming curbing uh, disinformation. A lot has come out ahead of Coming the main from elections you, um, <laughs> of the 200 book, and, uh, based on our initial analysis. And you will be able to see that book because we come out or we come out with weekly updates on uh, the, the pieces of disinformation that we come across or that has been fact checked, that have been fact checked. And uh, okay. majority of those are directed against. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, uh, ang, ano, ang, meron, ang meron siyang data ay ang nangyari noong 2019. Kiko, uh, suddenly out of nowhere, without without uh, warning, 
asks mm-hmm. her if uh, the trends uh, that they found in the 19 uh, 2019 uh, data uh, would continue in uh, 2022 what an insane question uh, hmm. what the hell and this anyway, is february yeah, sure. already kiko is already a candidate okay he's candidate for uh, vice president he's already declared uh, by this yeah. time okay I think and he's, he's already asking, done his crying shame uh, thing he's asking if her group uh, which is okay for the sake of those who have uh, not uh, followed the uh, subject matter, her group, Pointer, is the one responsible for the accreditation of Rappler and Verifiles into the fact-checking network of Facebook. And she is the one who certified that both are qualified. She is the one right. who certified. Okay. Now, is uh, Kiko is now history. very, very hopeful that in 2022, they will win with these people. Okay. So this is the Constitutional Committee on, uh, the, the Senate Committee on Constitutional Amendment for all of you. I'm just what introducing ever. to you the committee that we want to talk about, headed now by the Honorable Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Padilla. Okay. Is it to 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 is it uh, too condescending to expect worse by Robin Hood Padilla? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so, man. Uh, somehow, okay, ang tanong ba? Nagkaroon ba ng hearing kanina? Kasi I was in the I, island. Bagyo kasi ngayon eh. So uh, I, I don't think natuloy yun. Oh, kasi nagkaroon ng mga cancellations ng mga work yep. in Metro Manila. Oh, hello, hello, yes. Ito. Oh, and nandito na si Sas, mga kaibigan. Na say hi to Sas. Si... Sas, say hi, hi to Sas. them. Hello, everyone. Ang gagal mo si Sas. Ang gagal sobrang fresh mo, ha? Bakit sobrang fresh mo? Ay, naligo ako sa si dahil uh, alam mo naman yung paliligo alam mo naman yung paliligo optional yan para sa karamihan sa ate oh ako galing ako para sa akin talaga ng ano sa pilit sa pilitan lang to oh option hello everyone asa na pa tayo sa ating discussion constitutional change okay this is the last hearing of the committee on constitutional change Nag minutes of the previous yeah. meeting lang ako. Kasi, di ba, ang hirap nun, hindi natin nasusundan. Ano bang pinagmula nung huling, huling huntahan, huling uh, umpukan, huling, uh, ano bang, tsakan ba yun? Ano, ano bang tamang term? Huling... Huling tsakan, wag yun. Wag yun. <laughs> pero, pero sandali, bakit, ano to, Rappler ba itong nandyan? Or Verifiles? Or... No, this is the Senate Committee on Constitutional Amendment. Here, oh, Committee on Constitutional Amendment is a resource Ay, tanong, tanong mm. She's a professor, yeah. a professor of the University of the Philippines. You can see it at her back. There, oh, UP, College of Mass Communication. Pero bakit ano yun? Uh, ano yun? Par? Ano yun? Par ta- something? They're the, they're the, the, they're the, the best fact pa- checkers in the world. Right. Okay. Well, okay. I'm My sure first question true. for you, Attorney, is this: Why would this even be a subject matter of the uh, Committee on Constitutional Amendments of the Senate of the Republic of the Philippines? Uh, I don't know because uh, there has been uh, no talk about changing uh, how we tell the truth in the Constitution. I mean, it's not even in the Constitution and. <laughs> It's not even a part of the constitution that uh, that speaks of uh, how we have to tell the truth in uh, because uh, what is in the constitution is just the freedom to uh, speak to express and to publish uh, it doesn't uh, in the press doesn't uh, say anything about uh, how to tell the truth and who will tell uh, people if uh, they are who will who will uh, tell us uh what anyone is saying or uh, whether or not it's uh, true or false wala namang ganun sa constitution 
na namang arbiter na gano'n. Look, look, look. Ewan ko look, kung bakit nila i-discuss to. Look, look, look. Read, read. Na August 25, tayo. bukas. Bukas, bukas. Na pek, bukas daw yan, bukas. Na-pack news tayo, hindi ngayon, tomorrow. Uh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Uh, but, we will be there. Okay. But this is now better, okay? Because we've seen the last session, okay? We know the content of the last session. Ito yung benchmark ng panggagalingan ni Robin Hood Padilla, Senador ng Republika okay, ng Pilipinas. Okay, but uh, hold on, question. This uh, committee is uh, a committee that is uh, put up by the last Senate, last yes, Congress. Yes, 18th, 18th, 18th Congress. So Everything that, that they've done here is not null and void. Or ano man? Non, 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 Robin Padilla, you have our full support uh, right at this very moment. Robin, there is nowhere to go but up. <laughs> <laughs> as because far you as you're out with an uncomposment. Ano man pinagtatawanan ninyo? <laughs> Ito nga yung last meeting eh. Dito Napaka natin ikot yung para performance ni Robin ito. Padilla. Oh. Ha? Oh, eh kung ito na mo naman pala yung panggagalingan niya, Robin, you you can soar, you can fly, even you can ride your cable cars to unreachable heights. Kahit wala pang post uh, sa ibabaw, ano, ano pwede mong isabit dun, kayang-kaya na Robin. Uh, ang chartered territories yung pwede niyang marating dahil uh, ang Christmas nahabot day. naman kasi na territory nito is one foot around them eh. Yeah, well, so much the better, okay? So much the better because it's really nonsense. I can I can take this away, you know? And we can maybe talk about what we can expect uh, from a committee on charter change in either Senate or Congress. Would that be better, Sas, no? In either Senate or Congress. Kasi knowing that this is what God damn committee was uh, concerned about, in the last, they were concerned uh, about winning the next election. They were concerned about winning the next election. Sino ah. itong itong ano? Itong constitutional amendments? Or? The, the, this is oh, their committee. Si Kiko okay. ang chairman yan eh. Tingnan lang natin how, how Kiko caps this for a while para makita lang natin yung kanyang okay. reaction, how happy he is and how hopeful he okay. is that he will win. Uh, presidential candidate and Vice President Lenny Robredo po. So marami pa nice. talaga. Every week po, she is the most, the biggest victim of disinformation or negative messaging po. Whether it has to do with uh, Wait lang. the typhoon, the typhoon, Wait lang. with uh, oh, Wait Wait lang. Lang. Post, post, every week post, post, po, post, there is a team or the presidential interview. JP, post mo muna. So ito, hearing ito ng constitutional amendments and revision of codes. Pero bakit oh. nila dinidiscuss yung Lenny Robredo? <laughs> Exactly. Wait, wait, wait. Look all, look all. Look, look at the panel. Look at the panel. Look at the upcoming uh, uh, speakers. Ah, palakihin uh, mo, palakihin mo, palakihin mo. There you go. There you go. The Philippine Association of National Advertisers, PANA. That's okay. it. That one. So they'll be talking That's about one. political ads. And, uh, wait. So ano kinalaman ng PANA sa constitutional amendments and revision of exactly. 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 That is our question. Kaya kami tumatawa, Sas. Sino pa? Ayan, Ayan o, Kiko, there is a Kiko. De La Salle University, Jason Cabanes. Cabanes. Okay. okay, there is an, a lawyer here, attorney Maria Cecilia Macpal. I don't know what the, her... Uh, and then the DOJ, uh, Office of Cybercrime. Cybercrime Constitutional Amendments? Yes, and cybercrime, and then starting with the UP uh, fact-checking, you know where it's going. And then there's Jonathan Ong. This Jonathan Ong, I think, is the Harvard uh, guy, a professor from Harvard University, which I want to dare debate with a nobody named Wendangkal. Come on, Jonathan Ong. 
I can I can I can make some. Ang weird naman ng panel. Okay, and then there's this. Ah, uh, hindi natin alam yung objective nila nito eh. Okay, Jack Sahel. Jack Sahel. So, okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait, so wait. Foreigner, Precisely, so may, oh. okay? So may foreigner sa issue ng constitutional amendments okay, yeah, and local code. Amendment ng Senate. Fact check also po. Yes po. Lock ha? Lock, no, lock just on that point, every week since when? Since January po. Okay. So we started so curating. Since, yes. Fact checking since January ha? Ayan no, ayan okay. no. Taka, 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 taka. Taka, taka, taka. Tingnan mo sa, ba, oh. sa baba oh. Uh, Senate Resolution Number 953 Review of Criminal No, no, taas, 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 taas ng konti Taas, taas, taas. Ayan, ayan, ayan the Review of Criminal Laws, Rise of Social Media Platforms and the Rapid Advancement of Technology What is criminal law, uh, what criminal is... about Rise of Social Media Platforms? What, what, what is that? What does that mean? Oh, it dahil uh, sa misinformation pero constitutional amendments and revision of codes. So baka di, nakapasok yan sa revision of codes yung topic nila. Oo nga. Hindi ko nga maintindihan yan. Pero But, bakit? Uh, their, ano, ano, their pretense is that they are reviewing uh, criminal laws. So let's see oh, if they are in fact reviewing criminal laws in this entire oh, uh, charades. Okay. Uh, you want me to jump to the, ano, to the foreigner or you want me to jump to the DOJ what the DOJ is going to talk about? DOJ. Let's listen to DOJ. the next speaker. Next speaker. Next, uh, next speaker. speaker. Next speaker. Let's uh, look at her. Ah, na lang. Ah, ano? Tapos pa tayo. Ika kap ni ano? Ika kap ni ano? Okay. I wanna I wanna yeah. listen to Kiko. Okay, okay, okay. It's not the case, po. And of course, a lot of uh, historical inaccuracies that have come, um, that have been revived or that have resurfaced in connection, po, with. Uh, his father, the late dictator, Ferdinand Marcus Sr. Okay. So, yun po, sir, so far, ang trends nakikita okay. po. So, so uh, in, a general, in a general sense, there is disinformation and misinformation to promote a particular candidate or a position, and there is uh, disinformation and misinformation to attack a particular position. I mean, and point, or a candidate. Yes. Yes, yes, at this uh, point of time, yes, that is what we are observing. So, so the, the, yeah, so misinformation and disinformation to, to boost someone's candidacy and misinformation and disinformation to, to, uh, to prevent or to uh, attack someone's candidacy. Now, here's, here's a question. I, one, one step backward, Professor. I'm sure you've been monitoring this. And you've you've gained a lot of insight from that 2019, uh, how do you call it, study. Would you be in the position to conclude, or have you been, if you have been monitoring, that in uh, Objection, your many order. instances, not just elections, when issues crop up, when uh, scandals are uh, exposed, for example. Uh, Uh, so for example, in the pandemic, in the onset of the pandemic two years ago, were there, uh, was there an orchestrated uh, effort, disinformation, to s promote, you know, the government response, for example, and to attack, uh, uh, you know, those who are critical? That's one, the pandemic. Second, the closure of ABS-CBN. Again, was there this information to promote the closure of ABS-CBN as well as uh, misinformation and disinformation uh, to attack those who oppose the closure? Uh, and then we have the family hearings. Uh, would you have monitored, if you did, that there was, again, the same modus operandi of uh, social media influencers, platforms, uh, accounts, uh, attacking the senators and the COA, for example, uh, with misinformation and okay, disinformation, post, 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 promoting post, post. Uh, uh, the government position, uh, the DP, post, MPS, post, post. and perhaps even Malacanya, with uh, negative, I'm with positive. JP, post, Mona, yes. yes, I hear you, Your Honor. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sabihin mo uh, lang, shut up, Your Honor. Sinatanot... 
Tinatanong ni Kiko, uh, this is already, this is already, uh, uh, it, it calls for a speculative uh, speculation. To, to spe- it, um, it calls for a, an answer that uh, is based in uh, speculation. Kasi hindi nga niya sinabi dyan na uh, we are uh, involved in a, in a speculating as to what will happen in 2022 or, uh, or uh, as, as to what will, uh, what happened about other things other than uh, the 2019 election. Uh, but uh, here is Kiko asking three questions already. Okay, uh, three questions already without first laying the predicate, which is to, which is to say, uh, uh, okay, again, ito sinabi mo, so parang i-intro mo muna and then you ask the expert. But in this case, wala, diniretso niyang tinanong to and assuming, assuming that uh, first that this uh, woman did studies on these things, on these three questions. Second, that uh, the authority on this on these uh, subject questions were not uh, the government like for example you formally hearing it was done by the senate mm. so uh who who would be the lead uh thing or organization that would this woman would have uh, would have uh, monitored the ang senate the ang senate ngayon ang uh, ang uh, ang uh, basis kung may misinformation or disinformation sa sa findings itong babae to doon sa isa yung uh, sa pandemic response Ang uh, sino ba ang uh, in charge diyan di ba ang and ang and ano ba yan a uh, LCAP ano ba yan ano ba yung uh, and, uh, ano ba yan uh, yung ating uh, committee yung ating uh, committee on the ano on the COVID-19 sa pandemic uh, sila yung lito so are task you saying force. oh are, are we saying that uh, Kiko is uh, casting doubt on that organization on that uh, committee that was uh, assigned by the government <laughs> si Sas. saying Nintok all of these things si Sas. <laughs> diba? uh, ano kasi yun eh si Kiko eh hindi to yata nag-aral ng law siguro tong taong Naka, to oh, naka pa, pa, pa. mute ka Sas unmute yourself Sas ang boring kasi ni Kiko eh ano ba yan <laughs> oh next <laughs> next ayoko si na ayoko na pakalit yan attorney wala si Raulo si si nagsasalit Okay, una, I, I just find those three questions uh, uh, una alarming to be asked in the Senate in this particular uh, committee. No? And nobody has uh, even uh, noticed that this actually happened. Okay, now uh, why don't we uh, look at her answer? What is her answer? No, sige, sige. Uh, Tingnan natin kung... Uh, are checked into the issue. And you are correct to a great extent of your observation that a lot of the pieces that we have analyzed, Professor Labita and I, tend to boost, of course, government's efforts or the response to COVID-19 and vaccination. At often, Naturally, we use no or misleading uh, statistics or information. And there have been a number of instances where public figures or political figures um, have also been victims of uh, wrong information. And uh, that includes uh, uh, Vice President Robredo, unfortunately. So yes. she's been attacked also um, uh, a number of times. Uh, I think in the Sinovac issue, uh, she was uh, she was attacked not only by uh, by government officials themselves, but also, of course, uh, what followed, as we see, is uh, with the supporters of the government. Tandali lang, ha? <laughs> alam mo, alam mo, ito talaga ang, ang, ang naano ako eh. You know, the the use of language is always political. Alam na alam ni Ahmed yan. Yeah. You know? You know, when, when you use yeah. the word attack to replace criticism, to replace um, critique, to replace um, a, a lot of usual things that we use. No? So, Teka, to... paano ko ba ilagay si Sas sa gitna? Med, i-turn yeah. around mo nga to para si Sas yung nasa gitna. Ikaw kasi ano, JP? <laughs> drag, drag her <laughs> to the middle. Drag her to the middle. Ko, ah, ulitin ko na, alam mo yun, the usual things that we say na, alam, yung more informative, di ba? criticized, um, insulted, ridiculed, fanned, ganyan. Yung mga, yung mga usual na ginagamit noon, ang ginagamit na ngayon is attack. And it gives ano physical 
visualization nung nangyayari na mm. nagiging, uh, nagiging violent tuloy. Yep. Parang, mm. parang na, ano ko na, you know, hello, hindi naman kami pinanganak kahapon. We know how people use language and there is ano, there yes. is a thought process behind using a particular language. Bakit, kasi pag sinabi mo na Lenny Robredo is often ridiculed, syempre yung mga ta- less ano yun eh, di ba? Less emotionally yeah. charged. Ang nangyari Pero, kasi sas, uh, because the, their their agenda is to to uh, put uh, put uh, flesh to the rhetoric na narrative na ano na uh, social media and language and political campaign has been uh, weaponized so uh when when it is weaponized then it is onomatopoeic eh? it's this uh, verb that sounds like a something that's being done diba parang uh, baka sila nga nag weaponize that's uh, forceful that is a uh, Oh, and that is a that is a no, that is a onomatopoeia system of ano of uh, propaganda. And uh, even uh, Plato and Aristotle were uh, complaining about those things in the, in their time. Ah, uh, mga ganyang rhetoric. Correct. Hindi na, ba, hindi na bago ito eh. You know, this is not something new. And ang 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 nakakaano kasi dito. You know, they, they kept on accusing other people. Ah, sila na may propaganda. Pero they're not being honest with themselves na we are also engaging in propaganda, counter-propaganda, or what what or 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 yep. uh, whatever you may call it. It's still propaganda. Kaya nga, ano eh, napaka-intellectually hmm. dishonest ng mga taong ito. I, I, it's, yep. um, and of course, they're preying on the minds of young people. No, wala pang alam sa history, wala pang alam sa philosophy of language, politics of language, etc., etc. Pero the thing is, the ordinary Filipinos, na ang primary um, tool nila in their everyday lives is uh, semantics language. Alam, na, alam na alam nila to. Eh. Kaya hindi mo bibe, hindi sa kanila bibenta ito. Eh. Oh, ito, ito, ito. This is your answer. Ang una nilang ano? What's that? What's that? Backbreakers. Who they are? Who they are? Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. It comes from. Okay. Sabi dito, the name of the initiative is coined from fact and racker, raker. Or racker, or racker is inspired by the term rock crackers, first used in the early 1900s by American President Theodore Theodore Roosevelt. To express his annoyance, okay, annoyance at progressive reform-minded journalists at the time. Huh? Yep. That is your. Yan yung kanilang. Yan yung kanilang. Ano, yan yung kanilang. Uh, they want to be like that because they're just annoyed that progressive people, reform-minded people, they're annoyed at us. In, in, in oh. other words. Also, ano na naman sila, they are following the political historical tradition ng United States. You know, you know, there is money in, the, there this is, is the money professor, in fact-checking. Huh? There is money in fact-checking. Um, the United States and other organization funds yes. fact-checkers. Hello naman, Ahmed. Alam naman natin itong mga galawang NGO na to, no? You know, this there is livelihood yep. in presenting yep. yourself as a fact-checker. So itong mga mga ganyan ganyan na exe-exena nila. You know, alam na namin to, you are after funding because maybe yeah. wala na kayong pinakuha na masyado ng pangkabuhayan. Alam naman natin pag pag NGO ang line of work mo, ang iyong incentive Atira. ay ang iyong ginagawa is to make yourself aping ape eh. because there's no money in promoting positivity. Tama, tama. Okay. Uh, that's an, that's right. Uh, ang ang tingnan mo ha, tama yung sinabi ni ni Sasi, yung uh, ano yung semantic uh, semantic uh, focus na ano na na rhetoric. <clears throat> na ang unang-una nilang ginagawa ay to to classify the enemy. Uh, the enemies are misinformation agents or misinformation experts or misinformation na uh, farms ganyan, a uh, bot farms mga ganyan. So once they establish that that is their enemy, okay. Now they individualize that that uh, general classification or category. They put faces like uh, luminous, like SAS, like TP, and 
and from there, it's so easy. Uh, kung sino ang sumusuporta kay Nasa, si Luminos, kina TP. TP is named. Ha? Huh? TP is named in one... Yeah. Okay. No, you were all named in one document. Si Sas, si Trixie, Luminos, okay? Tayo na naman. Yes, yes. And then TP is Tayo named in... Okay, that document was was, was uh, published by Rappler. TP was named in a document published by the EU. European EU? Union. Yep. Uh, ang ano kasi nito, so, kita uh, mo nga, they, a, they do yeah. not like red tagging. Diba? Hmm. Sinasabi nila, kailangan daw ng court order for red tagging. What about this ano, fake, fake news peddler tagging? Hmm. Saan ka pupuntang court eh? in order hmm. for you to be taken out of that list? Wala. Kasi wala namang crime na fake news eh. Yeah, because this is precisely propaganda uh, war. <laughs> hmm. Yon. And, is, and okay. By the way, by the way, how does this all is, figure into no the? There is no crime of red tagging. Hmm. Yeah, how does this all figure into ano the yan, question ano yan, of federalism? Di ba? <laughs> okay, for me there is a connection. There is a very Oy! direct connection here. Yes. Ano ba na pala connection, JP? Ano ba utang? Yes. Sige. Ka. You know what? You know what the problem here is? They can demonize. Okay? They can demonize with all of these strategies that they're using. Okay? Everything, every positive thing or every uh, objective uh, statement from anyone whom they will uh, claim to be enemies even if they believe in the objective. Okay? Una, si Lenny Robredo already mentioned in her campaign that she is also for constitutional change. Oh, huh? Gusto rin daw niya yan. Okay? She is also for federalism. But anyone that they do not like to carry the issue na magiging popular, they can destroy that person, they can destroy that narrative, they can destroy the argument, they can destroy anything they want by just continuing with this kind of BS that they're doing that they did in the Senate. Well, ganyan naman parate. Actually, hindi lang naman constitutional change. Halimbawa, lahat, lahat ng, lahat ng lahat issues. Ng issue. you, know, yes. you, know, you know, if you're going to compare the, the, the platform of PBM and Nelly Robredo, there's no fundamentally different between the two. You know that. The oh, social just, welfare, yeah. except, except foreign policy. We, we all know why. Di ba? Mm. So, pero pagdating sa local domestic issues, social welfare, agriculture, um even lgbt issue etc pero they pero it, ito kaya nga ang inaano ko the, the issue meron sila ha uh, uh no yung contraception ay ayan even even reproductive health well bongo marcos is even more feminist than you know <laughs> oh tingnan mo si duterte rodrigo duterte did not allow the condom uh, thing to ano uh, because uh he was uh despite all of his uh, tirade against the Catholic Church, he ended up to be more Catholic than anyone else. Diba? Diba? Uh, On that uh, subject. There, there is ano talaga dito sa, sa mga ito, tama ka dyan, JP, na they're, they're using this as a way not to really attack the issue because mm. fundamentally, they agree with it. Mm. But to attack the person. Hello, do you, re- do you remember during that time, Tay Gloria, everyone wanted to transition to parliamentary system. It has been flouted since the 90s. And then mm. Gloria offered it. And then, Gloria. <laughs> it's like, are you serious? So, oh. kasi, kasi ano to eh, I think kasi a lot of this issue kasi is milestones to ng politician, di ba? You all, you, mm. I politician. think that, uh, no, in a, in a bigger scheme of things, this is, I think, uh, the uh, the campaign of uh, the pluralist elitist uh, system that is going on, uh, not only in Europe, but also now in America, and they are bringing it to, to Southeast Asia and, and Myanmar, China and all that. Okay, even in uh, Zelensky's uh, place. In that is why, that is why they are, they are, they are present, they can be present in every issue because the pluralist elitist people uh, have the same agenda. They are the say, saying the same thing. That uh, we are the mm. group that knows more than everybody else 
and therefore we have the power to just name them as a as a category of people that are against us category of people who are attacking us and anywhere you go that will apply uh, that is a template for 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 uh, regime change or or, or uh, critique ng gobyerno o ng sistema and and the, basically that is what going on here and if you analyze it from that point of view you will see that this is exactly what happens in the US right now it's the same yeah. thing yeah alam mo ahmed you know the hindi lang yon eh there is money involved kasi can you imagine you know for example they they, they kept portraying uh BBM through a larger framework of fascist authoritarian Ganyan. And then suddenly, BBM not, takes on a progressive issue. Let's say, oh. sabihin natin, um, a divorce. E, eh, paano na yung funding ninyo? Di ba? Mm. Eh, kasi the government supports it. And you don't have any role to play there anymore because hindi kayo ang bida. And and mm-hmm. we know how this development work, developmental work uh, functions and operates in, in daily life. You need to you need to have um uh, ano to year end report na magpapakita na you're leading the issue yes and uh, i think yeah, uh, i think uh, right. B- bbm has to uh uh sooner maybe on the third year of his term uh, third year if he if he is able to reach that far <laughs> if okay and i say if because uh the the control of uh of uh, media okay is al- already very very um, alam natin nakikita natin yung kanilang clamor talaga yung kanilang effort talaga na makontrol yung media okay he must uh, clarify ano yung direction ano yung magiging uh, path natin way forward in terms of constitutional change because imagine having hegemonists like these people okay ruling over our country and also overseeing a constitutional amendment. Eh. <laughs> yeah, diba? Right. It's so Pero dangerous. Pero iisipin mo, kung iisipin mo, it, it is ano eh, it is a, it is a palare, parallel eh. Uh, kung iisipin mo kung sino yung mga uh, pluralist, elitist nung panahon ng, ng uh, nina, ano, nina, uh, yung ating uh, nireview ang American history. Hmm. Uh, makikita mo na sila din yung mga oligarchs. Di ba? Sila yeah. yung pluralist elitist na mga grupo. Sila yung oligarchs. So that is why they are the uh, they are these people who want to preserve that kind of niche in the in the in politics, in national politics and even international politics because they want to hold on to their money. That's exactly okay. it. That is uh, the, the the real uh, definition of oligarchy, no? Uh kumbaga controlling the politics to uh, regenerate your wealth or to grow it or to protect it but okay do not do not forget the names ah yeah. itong si uh, Macracker whatever was the no si Theodore Roosevelt okay is the one who convinced the United States to invade Cuba to enter into the Spanish American war which includes the colonization of the Philippines saka hindi right? ba ano journalist din naman ang may kagagawan niyan si Pulitzer no. Yes, kaya nga, mga kasama nila, okay? Mga kasama nila and everyone else who were who were trying to portray the truth or trying to tell the truth, they were the hecklers, they were the muckrackers or the muckrakers whatever that uh, that they want to ano na. Ito yung ini-emulate ngayon ng mga taga UT, the Lehman College of Mass Communication. My god. Di ba? Nakuha kang mga graduates pala ng UP Diliman College of Past Communication dapat pagdudahan ang kanilang framework ng pag-iisip, di ba? Okay, una, uh, do not forget that the founder of uh, of uh, what's this? Freedom House is the wife of Franklin Roosevelt again. All right? So, they're they're their lineage sa kanilang pag-iisip, kitang-kita. No? Yung, yung, how it goes down the line. Siguro, pag in pa natin to ng patas ng patas, makikita natin yung kanilang roots dun sa, alam mo yung nakasulat din sa Deuteronomy and Numbers? 
Baka doon pa yung linyada nitong kanilang mga pag-iisip. Ha? Numbers, Deuteronomy. Alin ba doon yung mayroong mga ano? Yung, yung mga linyada na mga mula sa uh, lahi. Family, family tree? Ha? Family, family tree? Oo, oh, yan yung ano, numbers. At saka yung... Uh, oh, numbers. After Exodus. Deuteronomy. Oh. Hindi ba Exodus yan? Saka numbers? Numbers ata yan. Numbers. The book of numbers. Okay. No? Kasi... Oh, at saka ano, Exodus, Exodus, kasama rin yun. May oh. mga names, names Ma- na rin sila doon. Mapupunta to sa mga Merovingian Empire. Alam mo, alam mo, alam na alam, alam to ni Ahmed, eh. you know, the, the mark of uh, a very dangerous kind of politics is a politics that doesn't recognize itself as doing politics. Yeah, of course. Uh, totalitarian. Uh, fascist. Yeah. Totalitarian, feeling nila, hindi, we're doing politics, this is the truth, the way, and the life. Mm. Yan yung mm. ginawa ng socialist style. Eh. Tingnan mo, it it uh, any any ano any uh, ideology has a share of that kind of person. Uh, yung mm. so, yung uh, socialist, uh, nationalist socialist si Hitler. Yung uh, yung uh, socialism ng uh, Bolshevik Revolution si uh, mm. ano si uh, Lenin at saka si Stalin. Meron sila pare sa kapitalismo naman meron din Deuteronomy itong mga Deuteronomy. itong mga Americans na uh, dahilan itong lahat ng pag uh, imperialism nila starting with the Philippines uh, meron silang lahat diyan uh, yung uh, Italy yung fascist eh, nandiyan din si ano uh, what is his name Mussolini Benito Mussolini o oh, uh, even even democrats si... even democrats Mostly Democrats, in fact. So, so now, it is it's, it's it's no longer a question like of ideology. This Oo. is not a question of ideology. It is a... So, because when we talk about ideology, that is clearly politics. That is the sphere yeah. of politics. Mm. But but if you skirt that problem and, uh, and, and talk about uh, semantics and rhetoric and all that, that is already, uh, you know... Uh, the, yun yung tawag ng mga tawag na Aristotle noon sa mga ano eh mga pre-sophistic philosophers the rhetoricians uh, yun yung palagi nilang inaaway ni ni Plato ni Socrates na you are like a rhetor- rhetorician na you can you will explain why the color orange is orange not because of its uh, uh, what uh, spectrum of light it uh, absorbs and reflects but by argumentation <laughs> that they will argue that uh, this is orange because of so many things na alam mo na what is diba yeah yeah kasi alam mo alam mo yon sila they they are alam, even even their peers in the conventional mainstream media may mga nababalita silang fake news hello naman parang hindi man tayo naka-witness niyan ng buong buhay natin yeah. even the even before the advent of the internet tapos biglang ho proliferation of fake news because of the rise parang, of authoritarianism. Para are you serious? Parang, mm. parang they, are, they are actually they are actually you know, they are actually saying without saying it that uh, the uh, the uh, onset of uh, technology in, in, in internet and uh, social media is the birth of uh, fake news and misinformation and disinformation and all that. Ito, 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 and, ito. and that it is now being uh, exploited by uh, politics. Uh, exploited by politics. But that is not true. Uh, diba? Ay, hindi, hindi, hindi. Alin, 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 alin. Ano yan? Ano ito, yan? Ito, ito, ito. Okay, na yung terminology na the old society, okay, uh, it's, it, okay, it's the oligarchy, it's the neo-colonialist system, okay? Uh, diba? Okay. Tracing back to the U.S. occupation, di ba kasi yung binuo ni Marcos, what he was trying to build was the new society. Bagong lipunan. Hmm. Bagong lipunan, o oh no? Which is... Uh, yung, actually, yung kay Marcos, uh, socialist yun. It's yeah, socialist it's bordering on communism. Mm. <laughs> Ayun. Yung kay Ferdinand so, Marcos was a socialist ideal. Oh. Kumbaga, Pero yung yun. kanya... Oh, oh. Si, si, so kung himayin natin, parang yun yung kinakalaban ni Marcos at the time yung ganyan yung kasi hegemony sa pag-iisip. Hindi ang, 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 ang ano kasi ang ano kasi talaga yan. You know, um the the uh the, yun nga they are ano hiding behind the mask that hmm. they hold the truth. 
when in fact they're just presenting a particular point of view. Ano man, ano nga sila eh? They have they have become um some sort of religion rather than politicians. At least politicians know that they are negotiating. Pero if you are religion, there's no room for negotiation. This is the truth, the way, and the life. Either you follow us or you go to hell. Di ba? Ganon. Pero ang susunod kasi niyan, Sap, ang susunod kasi sa dogmatism is fundamentalism and well, that's fascism in politics. But fundamentalism is dangerous kasi nagiging terorista na sila dyan. Ayan na nga. At kita mo, kita mo, Ahmed, ah. Tatawagin nila, oh, this is a fascist government because it uses violence. Hello? Can you name any state that doesn't have violence as part of its arsenal? At least power of the state na eh. Parang naman hindi naman sila nag-aral ng labor. That state is the monopolization of legitimate use of violence. Rome nga, na Rome merong Swiss Guard. <laughs> ang room may Swiss guards. Exactly. So parang parang in fact in 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 the in the process of doing these things this they are trying to rewrite history political uh, science and history and science uh philosophy of science and philosophy of political uh, thought. Um iniiba nila eh. uh, now they have a uh, they have this new definition of what is law. Kasi law in fact is a weapon. It is a weapon the state uses to protect itself. And but if you saw exactly. uh, Maria Ressa uh, using a law, she will say that she will complain that the, uh, the state is weaponizing the law. What the hell is that? The law is really a weapon. What does it mean? What does it, it mean is. that the law? Ano ba yung law before? Ano ba to? Sandok ba ito? <laughs> Instruction manual. Majuan. Ano ba yun, Amen? Para kung ano masi guru na tinuro sa mga lawyer that the law is a sandok or or a chance or ano ba? Instruction manual na Chinese characters. Ano ano Jeff? Ano Jeff? Ang law is just an instruction manual in Chinese characters translated to English using Google Google Translate. Ano ba ito? Ano ba ito? Hmm? Oh. Look, look, look. Ito mo. Tingnan mo. Tingnan mo. If if we talk about the law and you read the law, you will never see any any instance where the law talks about the truth. There is no concept of truth in the law. But what they are trying to do now is to substitute truth in the place of law. That uh, they are, they think that they know the truth, and therefore the truth should be the law. And if the law is the truth, then they are the rule makers, they are the rule implementers, they are the executors, and, and all that. Uh, that is a smooth way of, uh, of of getting into politics. But that is really uh, assuming that all the people in the in the country are stupid, but we are not, and we know that. Yeah, that yeah. That's why work. they have to silence people like us. Diba? That's why they have to clamp down our voices because uh, the more people will be hearing us, uh, then uh, the more the lesser chances of winning sila. Oh. And uh, in the same manner, they have realized their follies because they're they're a learning organization. They're very good at learning, you know. They they also adapt. They're like linta, you know. They don't die. They're like the sponge in the Arctic Ocean. That do not die for millions of years. Parang yung parang yung speech ni Maria Reza sa Nobel Nobel Prize Prize Award. Na just ko dahil sabi ko seriously, there are intellectuals there and listening to this garbage. Yung sabi niya. And clapping. Sabi niya, facts are the are the foundation of democracy. Since when? Since when facts have been the foundation of democracy? Kulang yan, Sats, kulang yan. Ganito yung ano nun, ganito yung sequence Without of the facts. logic, okay? Without facts, there can be no truth. Ayan. No truth, no democracy. What the hell? Ano, sa, sino political <laughs> philosopher ng democracy? You know, alam, you know, everyone who studied political history, political, uh, political thought, would easily call out that bullshit. Walang ganyang tinuturo na, na 
truth is the foundation of democracy? Did the Ateneo, did, did, oh, did, 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 you know, democracy was given birth, and the, uh, uh, the ancient Greek gave birth to democracy. <laughs> it was never about truth. The truth. <laughs> It was about organizing power. It's about exercising power and who can <laughs> exercise power. Ano, 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 oh. And when you study criminal what law, they, what they, ano? <laughs> you will oh. know that the truth What were they matter. talking about in the ancient, the ancient times? They were talking about epistemology. Sige, sina Plato, sina Socrates. They were talking about ethics. And under ethics comes politics. Diba? Because yeah. sa politics is 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 nothing but ethics really that uh, involves uh, the society in yes. in a relationship of the members of the society and the governing the governing body or the power okay. that holds the the, the Junior. No. so Junior ang, ang, ang ano ang ang tinatanggal kasi sinasabi ko lang ang ang politics under ethics they actually cannot talk about the truth because ang truth cannot involve statements that are yung should yung uh, it should be so para siyang uh, normative uh, statements normative na, are na, not about right. sabi na what should be Pagbigyan natin to si Junior Bringas diba? kasi napakatalino nito eh Normative Oh, wag daw nating tawagin lutang si ano kasi sige. baka baka sige, first time niya baka first time niya na na makilala tayo parang katulad to ni ano ba ni ni Kiko Kilala mo po ba uh, Mr. Junior Bringas si Kiko Abaya? No? Warning nga lang kita sa last ko sinabi sa kanya. Junior fine. Bringas. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Kaya nga, ang sinasabi niya dito, hanggang uh, butang lang daw yung ating ano, uh, argument against Lenny. Sige. Uh, gusto mo, round robin kami in one ito, minute. Ito si Junior Bringas. Kaaway niya, ito si Anne Hasty. Kaaway niya si Anne Hasty. Uh, ewan ko kung anong pinagawayan nila. Kaya nung kaaway niya, gusto ko lang pagbigyan. Mali naman talaga. Tama siya. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I, I want I want I want okay, I want I want I want kumbaga uh, kum- Ano yung sinasabi ni ano ni I want to patronize this guy. Okay? I want to patronize this guy for a while. He is right. Yung mga DDS naman talaga at saka yung mga BBM supporters na die hard na hanggang lutang lang yung kanilang uh, description kay uh, kay Lenny and they do not want to go further. Because mali, we mali, understand mali, mali, each mali. other, okay? It is really wrong, and I agree with you, Mr. Junior Bringas. And in fact, I wanna, I wanna use your statement here as a lesson for everyone who is uh, thinking and still have hair and uh, uh, can show their faces, not just their nose, okay? To be more specific, <laughs> when we, uh, when we criticize the critics of this government, pero una. Si Lenny, we're not talking about her because of her candidacy because wala na siyang pag-asa. No? But the next time, yes, you are true. You are right. You are very, very correct. Na hindi po tama na hanggang lutang, hanggang uh, single adjective lang. Dapat merong specific, specific talaga na issue na ipupukol sa katarantaduhan at kapalpakan. Kagaya ng ginagawa namin kay Maria Reza, sinasabi namin na yung kanyang statement is completely false and we are dichotomizing and we are arguing point by point what is wrong with her statement. And we are laughing because it is really so funny and you find it so purely believable. So, we take your suggestion very, very uh, well and uh, to our hearts. And hopefully, in no time, you will be able to educate yourself, unlearn, unlearn your yellow, yellowish, uh, yellowish uh, leanings, and um, dispel all your, uh, dispel all your uh, uh, questions about how uh, kami kabobo by listening to us more frequently. You wanna hear? No, you wanna hear class? Wag na, tagalinin natin yung ano, comment ni Junior Bridges. Balik Yan. tayo dito. The problem kasi dito sa mga right, to, right. you, know, you know, they are they are confusing uh, politics with physics. You know, physics is about truth. You know, it it, it aims to create laws that reflect the natural yeah, world. How, how, the, how the natural world works, you know, how the universe evolves, etc. Atoms, etc. Ganyan. 
mini confuse nila ito sa politics you know mm. you know you have a very good point there it's 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 not the case kaya nga kita mo diba gusto nila daw more scientific approach to politics in fact parang you you can do that in the more technical aspect ng bureaucracy Bureaucracy, That's like right. for example, sa, sa health, sa health, etc. Pero pag sasabi mo sa akin na democracy, uh, through um, PAX, yeah. it's the foundation of democracy, di ba? PAX, truth, democracy. Ma, 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 hindi hindi kita papaniwalaan, kasi democracy is not oh, it's not about finding the truth. Democracy yeah. is about power. It's about organizing power in society. Mm-hmm. Wala namang scientist na naging na, na, na nag-pursue ng democratic studies in order to find the truth. But, See? but, hmm. let me let me give you a terminology. Uh, kasi ikaw, ano ka, political science and stuff that I've never encountered in, 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 in all my studies in economics, public administration, and everything, even political law. Hmm. Newtonian government. Have you ever heard of that? <laughs> <laughs> Einsteinian government. No, 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 no. Newtonian government. Look it eh, up. Ang problema, because ito, that is the terminology merong, merong that they are referring to when 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 uh, when uh, when uh, describing our setup in our world today, and it is supposed to be obsolete by this decade. Huh? The Newtonian ano government. Yep. Ay, alam mo yun, inaano nga nila eh, eh baka naman magkaroon dyan ng quantum, ano, quantum, thesis, quantum mechanics government ha. Uh, I think <laughs> that's the move. <laughs> that's the, prob- that's the problem. That's, that's, that's their problem. Thank alam you. mo, g- ganito yan eh, di ba? Para sa kanila, those who do politics are bad. Kami, hindi kami doing, we're doing, we're not doing, pot- sila, sasabi nila, we're not doing politics. We are doing truth. You know, we we, we are uh, oh. propagating truth. Then, and eventually, it means that they're doing science. You know, na na there is yeah. na na oh. nagato. Pero pero guys, ito mga to, you are only deluding yourselves, and you are only deluding the Filipino people. You know, walang walang ganon. Hindi hindi ganon yan. Kaya nga, <laughs> it's either you are deluding accidentally or deliberately yeah. because you are hiding your your real interests. And yeah. politics is about interest. At ayaw nga nilang ma- malinya by doing pili- political work because they would like to show to people na we don't have an agenda. We don't have an interest. We are just yes. for that objective thing called truth na, na cannot be touched by politics. Ulul. <laughs> But okay, but but in fairness, <laughs> ah, if you if you if you take this seriously, look it up and then and then dig deeper. Go to the more intelligent, uh, go to the more intelligent uh, articles about this Newtonian government theory, and how it will have to be replaced in this decade or the next. You will find a lot of explanations for what is going on. A Newtonian government. Yep, look it up. And oh, then, ano, uh, ano there will be a new system of governance. Na Ay, oh my na. god, ano to? Yep, yep, yep. It's ano something we, can, we should be discussing for the next ano. Kasi, ito, in, in fact, okay. Okay. Newtonian government refers to a government, its, con- its, its constitution, and or laws based on conceptualized and or governed by the logic of Newtonian mechanics. Yep, and that is how they describe our systems now, all right? And uh, uh, there are theories that uh, tinitingnan ko na pinanggagalingan nito mga grupo nila, Maria Resha. They're trying to uh, force the world into the transition, into the next form. Kasi ito yung naging discussion natin one time, Ahmed, you remember, di ba? Why have we yeah, yeah, yeah. been stuck with the 1600 frame of mind? Everything we know here, or everything we implement here, has been invented in the 1600s. Yes, exactly. Okay. Now, are we? Have we become that dull? Has humanity become that uh, that uh, non? Uh, have we? Have we? Have we? Have we lost all our creativity that we can no longer imagine a political system beyond what we have now? 
hindi alam the alam mo the and the democracy that we're talking about and the social systems that we are talking about no we know are just um constructs the pro- the problem with these people kasi you know um ano to eh uh, their their view of history that uh na may objective that's that's hmm. you know that's the ma- the marxian history diba teleological na in the future we will all be like this so ito yung gagawin natin in order to reach that path. dialectics ni Marx oh. yung yung di ba yung 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 kanyang um, historical materialism ni 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 Marx yeah. and that is actually also um the thinking of liberalism liberalism and marxism are structurally the same in the way they think yung the the the, the concept of progress yeah. rests upon the premise but they're na there in their politics Now there is a paradise, you know. There is a paradise that we will uh, we will be able to achieve if we do A B C D E F G H I J. You know, it's a perfectibility of human society, ganyan. Mm-hmm. And it has to, of course, with religion. And of course, the liberals would not like to tell, you know, would like like to admit that yung kanilang um, thinking structure has religious uh, uh, underpinnings. And uh, underpinnings. Yeah, no. Which they're now going to replace with the truth diba? of the media. Pero when you study history, you know, you're, my God, political system change. Hmm. Democracy has has been put in the shelf by humanity for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years until it got invented, re- rediscovered Babylon again in the 1600s. And then now we have that. But for the most history of humanity, we were not in a democracy. And I'm pretty hmm. sure during those times, syempre yung mga, yung mga, yung mga democrats na sabihin nila, during those times, humanity was in dark ages, parang dark period. Pero no, that's not the truth. You know, you know that's, not, that's not the case. Kaya nga, ayan sila eh. You know, they are simply, um, they are simply preachers of a religion that they don't want to admit is a religion. Hmm. <laughs> Exactly. Correct. And then, and, and, uh, going to ang, ang sinasabi nila, ang sinasabi nila is a, uh, uh, is a, uh, there should be a, uh, there should be an, an emergent uh, system that uh, all of us will agree to, okay? Because, uh, <laughs> because it's good. It because it will defeat uh, this information, information, and uh, and and uh, it will uh, save the whales and the uh, baby seals and all that. Uh, And uh, after conditioning us to that kind of thinking, we will be waiting for the Messiah that will bring that on. And, uh, And now, uh, they are actually... Uh, yeah. Even the bishops diba? are now worshiping her. So, uh, religion talaga. Religion talaga yung dating. Religion, yeah. religion, yung, religion na religion yung dating nito sa akin. Eh, na parang, oh, so, you... you Di ba, papaano mo nga naman, papaano mo, mo nga naman lalabanan yun na facts is the foundation of truth and truth is the foundation of democracy. Or, so, if you hear that, sasabihin mo, ay, oo nga, oo nga, ganyan. Kasi who would be against facts? Who would be against truth? Di ba? <laughs> so, the way, the way you construct it, you know, it becomes, it it, it enters, um, yung tinatawag natin na unfasif- uh, un- uh, outside the realm of falsif- falsifiability. Ibig sabihin, you cannot falsify exactly. this statement. Diba? So now, right. this it, it, it is strategy. <laughs> diba? Ito nga yung strategy nito na yung, you, 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 um, um, you are now outside the realm of falsifiability. You are now entering the realm of religion and faith. Religion. Because faith, faith is yeah. not falsifiable. Oh, ito. Yes. Tinan right. itong mga sounds like, sounds like priest, mm. priest, Mas, mas media. <laughs> mm. Di ba? Mas, mas media. Ano, ano yan? Ano yan? Mas, mas media. Priest, press. Mm. <laughs> Tingnan mo si Maria Reza. May ama? Does Maria ama, Reza no? have a father? Uh, pero, Maria, Maria. She's Maria and does she have a father that you know? O nga, ano, so, ano siya, lang, no? conception from the, ano, like, of the kawayan. Mm-hmm. And then, what will, what will happen, what happened to Jesus Christ? ba? Diba? How do you make her? Oh, si Sas na lang natira. Ah, sino Jesus Ayun, Christ? Wala. Teka, teka. What, what happened to, what happened to Jesus Christ? ba? Diba? 
So Jesus Christ mm. became the the God after he was nailed on the cross. So what you okay? I don't want to be uh, insinuating anything. Okay, not any form of violence, but uh, there's a stage uh, like uh, sabi to sa ano, the the butterfly uh, no, 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 the caterpillar pillar. Okay, this is from uh, that um, that. Uh, Uh, literary Jonathan Livingston Seagal. <laughs> yes. Uh, the title is The Caterpillar Pillar. Now, pillar. before <clears throat> before a caterpillar <clears throat> becomes a beautiful butterfly, it must... Metamorphosis! Yes. If it's metamorphosis, it must change. All right. And then change na yan, it's like the crucifixion, it's like Transfiguration is like the resurrection. Diba? And um, I just don't want to be uh, be there or I just don't want to be the country that will be blamed for this uh, crucifixion. We will become the Jews when Maria Ressa becomes a god. <laughs> I don't want to be that. Uh, <laughs> huh? Uh. Kung naiintindihan nyo lang. Well, naiintindihan nyo lang. So, Because ito, ito, so ito, ito mga kampun ano, niya to. May parallelism na naman sa, ano, sa anti-Semitism niyan. Hmm. Anti-Pilipino. The funny thing about that is that uh, when, they, when they decry, when they decry anti-Semitism, they don't explain to the people that the Arabs are also sem- sem- Semites. That uh, the Arabs and the, and the Jews and the Hebrews is part of that one, ethno-linguistic uh, group uh, called group. the Semites. <laughs> uh, they are They're Semites. Uh, se- Semitic kasi is, uh, is a ling- linguistic grouping. It's not a, it's not an ethnic uh, or a, a blood grouping. It is a kind of language that they spoke and that involved, that includes Ar- Aramaic, Hebrew, you, you, you uh, muted itong, yourself, uh, Arabic. You muted yourself. Yon, good. Ano nga ito eh, you know, itong, itong ginagawa to ni Maria Ressa, this is, you know, this is a, a strategy as old as time, a tale as old as time. First, you know, first you declare that you hold the truth. Is she the and beauty second, or the beast? And then second, when you declare that, you you now say it's either you're against us or you're with us. Uh-huh. This is, hmm. my God, ano ba ito si Maria Ressa? Parang hello naman. Di ba? You already said that you have the truth. Pero, but when you examine a lot a lot of people who engage with the truth, they will always mm. tell you na, I don't have the truth. I'm mm. still searching for it. Di ba? Mm. I, I still have doubts that what I have is the truth. That mm. is the approach of people who Even scientists, the, huh? Even, even scientists. scientists. That's yeah. the approach of people who seek the truth. Pero yes. if you are preaching the truth, that is oh. not your approach. Oh, diba? Kasi you're you are fooling someone. Yes, you are preaching the truth, di ba? Magkaiba yung searching for the truth and preaching the truth. Ha? You're actually Magkaiba baking yung... benta. You're actually making benta the langis ng ahas dyan sa may palengke. Yes. <laughs> di ba, JP? Ikaw, yes. ikaw, di ba, uh, ano ba to si, si Maria Reza ba? Ay si Jesus Christ? I am the truth, the way, and the life. <laughs> Oh, she she's already there. She's already there. In fact, the bishops are already worshiping her according to her. The lawyers are already worshiping her. So she now has the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And then the whatever she has seducted into her charms. No? Ay, ayan na nga eh. The, itong, itong pagbibigay talaga sa kanya ng Nobel Peace Prize. Is Tayo na lang yung zealots. <laughs> Uh, itong pagbibigay sa kanya ng Nobel Peace Prize, this is the secular version of sainthood. Eh. Itong, yes. itong Nobel, Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah. That's the, ano, the, ko, pero kung papansinin mo, you know, the, the, the entire uh, Maria Reza Shibans, you know, there is, alam naman natin lahat why she won that. Um, mm. And can you imagine, you are the Nobel Peace Prize for freedom of speech. And then mm. you cannot speak. And then you cannot. And you haven't. And you haven't defended Julian Assange, diba? Na, and and you even even have harsh words against Julian Assange, 
Ah, they, they, she hasn't defended sino tong pinakahuling kinasuhan ng ano? Si Walden Bellio. Yes! Alam mo, wala siyang... Kasi di ba, pag ikaw na Ritmus Prize winner ka na, di ba? You, you have become um, a transnational... An icon. Actor. Transnational hmm. actor. You are beyond your your society already. That's why... She's always been a transnational actor because she's not... Uh, she's not just a Filipino. She's... Uh, diba, diba, Italian... Uh, American and Filipino. Yeah, about si Desmond Tutu, if there are issues, di ba, magsasalita siya. And then, he will always lend his voice. Pero si Maria Reza, ang ina-attack niya parate, Pilipinas. Parang, uy, Maria Reza, what, hap- what, what is now happening in the rest of the world? Eh, yeah, pero, pero she has a group mm. working on the rest of the world. <laughs> pero siya? She has an organized group in her church. The Church of Reza, di ba? The Church of the Truth. Kaya Rappler is just uh is just uh ano kumbaga it's just like the 12 disciples uh but there is already a well founded uh uh set up okay mo, no Maria Reza will not speak anything against uh, harassment of journalists in the United States okay how does this relate to our ano again ha, sa mga late comers this is because in our uh, review of the minutes of the last meeting of that uh, committee on uh, social uh, uh, what, social ba to? Uh, committee on constitutional amendments this is what came out ha huh? ano ko lang dito sa tabi yan this is what came out and nagulantang kami kagaya yan kasi ito pala yung subject matter nila the truth and the the, the disinformation that is happening daw in our elections and they wanted this lady to convince the senate to criminalize us, maybe, I think, huh? To criminalize our actions. They're trying to make uh, law. Making it harder for us to talk about the truth because we are just disinformers. And this is their concern. And for me, because of that, ang taas ng aking uh, pangarap na itong si Robin Hood Padilla na sinasabi nilang magiging palpak, eh talagang mamayag pagbukas. <laughs> Diba, Sas? Alam mo yon, ang nakakaloka kasi dito kay Maria Reza, you know, they are saying na, di ba ano nila, the quality of democracy is get as get affected by by mm. disinformation, ganyan. Well, you know, the quality of democracy reflects upon the quality of life of the people. And it's mm-hmm. never been about truth. Di ba? It's about do we have um, enough food? Uh, do, do, do we, you know, these are practical questions. Na, na, na people live every day. And it has nothing to do about her abstract notion of truth or whatsoever. Nobody, nobody, nobody will go hungry because someone um, said a lie. Unless, of course, the lie is related to food. Diba? Pero pero yung 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 mga ganyan-ganyan ni Maria Reza. Alam mo? Hmm. Hindi kasi siya na ano eh, hindi kasi siya nakakakausap ng mga taong ito challenge yung kanyang beliefs. Because, you know, you cannot challenge the belief of the priestess. 'Di ba? The grand, the high priestess of uh, Para kang nagki-challenge kay Cleopatra. Well, at least si Cleopatra you can argue with and she's beautiful. Pero yeah. Di ba? <laughs> Kaya nga sabi mo nga nung Beauty and the Beast tell us all this time. I was wondering if she's the beauty or the beast. Pero uh, let, let, let me just uh, let me just uh, ano, before tayo ma, ma ano, let me just play this just a little bit. Sino tong taon to? Okay. Uh, who are you, mister? Okay. Na nakipag-debate kay ano. Is this the MSAP? I to ask okay. Kasi sinasabi ni Ahmed, i-review natin yung mga next speakers, no? But uh, I w- I'm, I'm wondering what the DOJ is going to say. Uh, like, who is this guy again? Sino to? Committee on Constitutional Amendments. Okay. What are you going to say? Sige, mamaya. Tingnan natin yan sila, okay? Uh, kasi mahalagang uh, ma-review natin kahit bagya, no? Ano man yung pinanggagalingan ng committee ba na na pinamumunuan nitong si Robin Padilla. Pero ikaw, Charles, in terms of uh, 
the output of that committee, knowing that ito yung uh, huling pinag-usapan. If it's going to be tomorrow, kasi hindi pala siya nangyari today, what do you think should Robin Padilla, if you can give him advice, di ba? What, what, what do you think should Robin Padilla at least uh, focus in his hearing tomorrow? If you were in a position to give the good senator advice. Naka-mute ka, naka-mute. Unmute mo. Well, constitutional amendments naman yun kasi. I think mm. the, very, the best way to proceed is to review the 1987 Constitution. Review first. Review first! Diba? Or, or even, even ano, yung reviewing not just the text itself, pati yung ano, preparatory works. Kasi... Makikita mo kasi doon, you know, what what is what's the intention? What are what's the intention of the people when they intention? Oh. 'Di ba? What they aim to achieve. Yung mga ina-achieve ba nila? Kasi you, you need to 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 have some coherence with between what they want to achieve and what's in the text of the constitution. So, mm-hmm. baka naman you have the same intention right now to for to change the constitution. It's just a, a matter of translating that in, um that that uh, translating that intention into a written um text in the constitution di ba kasi baka 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 rin naman kasi there's really nothing wrong with the 1987 constitution di ba nag-iisip lang mm-hmm. tayo di ba find find first what's broken in the 1987 constitution what works and what doesn't work all right now having said that having said that okay uh one of the clear na pathway na na gustong um, tahakin nitong mga dilawan sa pamumuno nitong mga nasa constitutional committee ng ano ng uh, Senado noong 18th, 18th Congress is to focus on uh, truth, fake news and stuff like that. Do you think that this is even an important thing like uh, alam mo, like this one? Okay? Uh, filtering yung mga obvious fake na mga balita, is it even a constitutional issue? Or no. is it something that we need to focus on? No. No. Precisely because under the guise of freedom of uh, discussions and freedom of information and freedom of uh, the flow of uh, intellectual discourse, Walang 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 puwang niyang censorship, tama? Wala talaga puwang ang censorship. And malino naman, di ba? Na you can only um 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 violate the freedom of speech legitimately. Tatlo, di ba? Tatlong reason niya sa Supreme Court natin or uh-huh. yung ano, eminent danger, ano ba 'yon? Mm-hmm. Clear clear and uh-huh. present danger, ano clear ba? And present danger uh, or it has been prohibited specifically, di ba? Uh, like uh, your uh, your uh, tread uh, treading on uh, matters that are uh, on the faith and morals. Yeah, no? There are there are there are different there are limited ways. Of, and then the, the third one, according to uh, Justice Holmes, <laughs> di ba? Yeah, yun yun yung yung morality ng society. Okay, when you when you already uh, endanger that, and then yung clear and present danger test. Hmm. And then yung uh, balancing test, no? Whether um, that that uh, infringement of a uh, right of a yeah. an individual outweighs hmm. the benefit for society to know that information. Oh, kasi ito halimbawa, itong inaano nila. Ang gusto nilang gawin is we have to filter out this information from the internet. Hmm. You know, you you this is already anong tawag dito pre censorship. Pre- Hindi sense ano yung um, um prior, yeah. prior 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 strength. Uh, uh, prior strength yeah and and the thing is why are you gonna be the arbiter diba what and is the you? harm done what is the harm done to society of what you're filtering out pag sinabi yeah. mo this, this information you have to prove that this partic you you cannot you cannot do that in toto kasi the the restriction to freedom of speech has to be approached on a case by case basis and mabuti sana if you replace it with really absolute truths, but uh, if you replace it with concepts like uh, without truth, there is no, there is no, uh, without facts, there are no truths. And without truths, there is no democracy. And that's a big BS, di ba? 
<laughs> and you make these people arbitrate your uh, our even this argument okay I, I i like this guy's statements but even this argument i do not find anything wrong with that constitution being made by Corey or during Corey's time because she did not make it to begin with she did not make it she has no intellectual capacity to write a constitution like that okay uh, hindi niya kayang isipin yon she is not that intelligent so it was it is highly unfair to call it the Corey constitution that was in fact made by uh, some of them are retired supreme court justices who served during the martial law and uh, justices who justified martial law yeah okay because martial law was really justified to begin with <laughs> diba there was really nothing wrong with the declaration of martial law because there was a real threat there and, was uh, a real and the uh, biggest lie is that part of our education which told us that it was just Marcos' whim to declare the martial law. Diba? And yun yung ating i-focus. Not about the people who ano. Okay, now, there, the, the 1973 constitution, okay, uh, kung basahin mo naman din siya, it needed to be updated. Okay? Because uh, if you also look at the 1935 constitution, it is not that, uh, it is very colonial. Meron tayong mga parity rights doon with the Americans sa 1935. And the 1973 constitution was made in a in a period of uh, kumbaga, sabihin na natin, in, in the middle of a crisis where they felt pressured or whatever. So hindi siya hindi siya independently made. Kaya nga eh. So, ano siya? Oh, hindi, yeah. sa, we, we are in the best time in our country to craft a constitution. This is the best period, I think, in, 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 in our political history. Kasi one, we are no longer under the colonial period. Two, we, we, we are not undergoing a great upheaval in terms of security in society during the Marcos, peer, Marcos era. Three, the 1987 constitution was a reactionary constitution to the Marcos um, administration. So it mm. was never forward looking. You know, it, it was never, it, 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 it is for me, huh, the 1987 constitution is all about making sure that the new government is not going to be like the Marcos administration. So it's, it's, I, 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 it should it, it, let's not be trigger happy now. Let's let's change the 1987 constitution because we are anti dilaw We're mm. then, 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 we are, we're, then we're going to limit our framework. We, we yes, must... and then and then the future uh, the future generation uh, 30 years from now will also say that is a BBM constitution. Yeah. And then they will now ask for it to be to be changed again because it is a BBM constitution. Once and for all, if we want to change it, let's make it into a Filipino constitution, our constitution. Diba? And for us to get there, diba? for us to get there, sabi nga nito niyo, oh, misal, sana matakal niyo naman ang contents ng sainthood. Tapos Louis Glick Jr. Sino to? Sino to yun siya? Hindi ko siya kilala. Okay, but uh, itong ano, no? Uh, okay, so sumaning Johnny, in an interview with the Citizen BBM, told that Corey even was not eligible or even qualified to lead the country. Kasalanan ni Cardinal Sinto. Uh, okay, those things are are uh, facts of the past that we cannot change. Okay? And um, what we need to focus on are the things that we can... Parang ano, ano ba yung prayer ng mga, ng mga alcoholic? Lord, give me the strength to uh, accept Lord. the things that I can change Lord. and the things that I cannot. You know, Lord, those things Lord, in the past, we can no longer change them. And, and, and the wisdom to know the difference. And the Lord, wisdom to know the difference. Lord, grant Lord. me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to, ch to, to change those that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Yon. Pero may kanta yan. Grant me serenity. Okay, ano sinasabi ni Adrian? Uh, okay, Padilla should not allow such people to, 
TikTok or the media and social media should be the least of the... Correct? Correct? Tama, she says, the best way to do it is to review the 1987 Constitution first before anything else. And this review should not be limited, I think, huh? should not be limited to the Senate Committee. This review begins with us, begins with all of us, in fact, begins with schools. And I think this is the way forward dun sa, sa campaign promise ni BBM. No? If we are going to operationalize it uh, in our minds, kung paano ito maganda ma-implement without getting disappointed. No? In fact, itong kay, kay Digong, he wanted to he wanted uh, the Congress to tackle the constitutional change by mandating the that uh, committee which uh, drafted a new constitution. But, okay, I do not know if that committee uh, constitution was, uh, uh, the committee's uh, recommendation will be uh, the, the starting point of Robin Padilla's um, actions tomorrow or uh, he would uh, start with a clean slate starting with as uh, suggested and as what we all agree no uh magsimula tayo so what's wrong with that 1986 stuff no kasi even if you look at the abueva version na yun yung unang unang uh, pinagsimulan the abueva version <laughs> ito si abueva UP president abueva na kabarkada ni nene pimentel you know? if you read their draft constitution before that last one. It's really full of BS. The first argument against the 1986 Constitution is the centrality, the centralization. What is wrong with being centered in somewhere? Government will always be centered in somewhere. It has always been that way. It has always been centered on one person. Centered upon the king. But look at the Catholic Church. It is centered in Rome. Is it a failure organizationally? Huh? In terms of organizational uh, stability and its ability to uh, to implement projects, as an organizational structure, it is the longest existing organizational structure in the entire history of mankind. 2,000 years. Now, that is centered in Rome. So there's nothing wrong fundamentally with centralization. So in that aspect alone, I, I find the web version really, really troublesome. So I do not know the the, the last one na dinidiscuss din ni Attorney Nick. No, I do not know kung uh, ano naman ang kanilang reason or rationale for the federalism or federalist uh, form of government that they're proposing. Because at the end of the day, any constitution must solve a problem. And any problem that must be solved must begin with understanding the problem. And tama si Sas. We need to review what's wrong. What do we want to change? Ah, uh, bayon. Subo lang ng subo si Sas. So si Amel ata nawala na ng internet kasi malakas yung ano. Ano si Amel? Nawalan daw siya ng internet kasi ang lakas ng ulan. Yep. And uh, <laughs> natatakot na ako. I'm coming home tomorrow. I don't know if I still have a home to come home to. Da, ito kasi, alam mo, yung federalism kasi, it's kung sa company kasi yan, you know, in, a, in a corporation, it's called restructuring. Diba? Mm. Organizational restructuring. Para mas re-engineering mas yan dati. Ha? <laughs> Organizational re-engineering. Uh, Ganyan, uh, di ba? Yeah. So, ngayon, ang company nagre-restructure ito because there is a problem that needed to be resolved. Mm. Diba? Um, or and, and usually because it's an economic structure, it's really it's really to make the um the the uh, the day-to-day operations of the company more efficient. Mm-hmm. So it's all about efficiency, you know, mm. yeah, you know, less less input, more output. So nagre restructure sila, right. nag mga departments, nag mm. nag nag um nag right size yo ganyan di ba mm. mga ganyang eksena so federalism is like that okay you you would like to restructure the country 
in terms of administration. It's it's all about that. Ngayon kung gumawa, mag mag include ka pa ng other other things diyan. You know, it's mga palabok na lang yan para sa akin eh. You know, it's really about restructuring the administration of the country. Now, in order for you to restructure, make sure first na yung 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 papuntahan mong structure would really uh, would would address the issue that you mentioned. Ano ba ito? Um inefficiency hmm. ba ito ng delivery of government services? Correct. Ah, may mga ganyan ba? Inefficiency ba yan ng division of uh, wealth or division of power? Yes, diba? may mga ganyan. Kasi pwede, siguro naman, baka naman kasi, di ba, like our discussion yesterday, baka naman kasi ang solution muna dyan is that... Tignan uh, na muna natin local government code. Ay, uh, yung functional departments, you spread it around the region. You put up DNR in every region. You put up DOJ in every region. You put up... um. Every every functional departments under the executive. Oh, and then the government will become now very top heavy and very very expensive to operate. <laughs> and then then uh, okay, meron pa lang nagsuggest kahapon or na, no not suggest but one of the comments but hindi ko siya nailagay no. Ang sinasabi niya in the country where she was living in, I think it was Japan, no. Uh there are weekly newsletters coming from their local government. Uh, that will outline what funds they were able to generate and uh, where it went. All of it. Do we have that? Yes, we do. How do you find it? You can't. <laughs> well, you can request it through the Freedom of Information. Correct. But but in in their in the place where she was living in, make any request. It is delivered to the people. In writing, in a newsletter, weekly. Diba? So, natitrace mo talaga if you want to find out. So, kung ikaw kasi government official, hindi mo kailangan ng death sentence para mangurakot kung nakikita ng mga tao saan napupunta ang pera at hindi kailangan maghanap. You know what? This can easily be accomplished by technology. Kaya nga dapat mag-digitalization tayo eh. You don't need to print this. Kasi... If if everything is digitalized, you know the disper this you know the disbursement of funds where where it's used except for funds that are for um um for for purposes that cannot be divulged divulged because of security reasons like for example mm -hmm. how much is spending for um intelligence where it's being spent ganyan mga ganyan mm -hmm. you can easily do this online because it's just a matter of inputting data every day now okay we got this amount of money even the cash flow can be can be can be put online and this and and, mm. and and in that sense you can just visit an app for example you 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 live in Quezon City Quezon City app and then you can see there the real time utilization of funds correct at sinasabi niya media is a part of that uh, entire structure it is a social it is a social institution you are right Kate no and media if it's not partisan, it could be a helpful institution in 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 uh, in uh, bringing about all of this uh, this transparency and change, no? But yun kung sa atin nga partisan at sinasabi mo yun yung problema, no? In other countries, the mainstream media is working, and in ours, it's not. It's partisan, and that is a big problem because they're trying to mask that partisanship with absolute truths. Actually, the media as we know it will no longer be that necessary as, oh. we, pursue, as we pursue further digitalization in terms of government right. construction. Kasi the raw data will be there. You know? At ito yung sinabi ni... That's what Wikileaks was trying to achieve. Oh. No? Na, okay, mag magdada kami dyan ng raw information. And then and you do it. Of course, it's still that not that organized, but the concept is like that. You know, this is raw information. You see it as it is presented. And then Maria Reza commented before about what Lilix is doing. Hmm. At kung malalaman yung kanyang fear, ang sabi niya, it's not journalism kasi ang journalist daw, nagtata, parang yung nagtatahi pa to ng kwento tungkol dyan sa mga raw information na yan. Ganun daw yung, mm -hmm. daw yung journalism or something. Hindi lang daw ito basta raw data. Sas, wag na natin <laughs> wag, wag na natin i-justify pa yung kabulastugan na yan, di ba? Because with all the raw data we have or we can make available now with social media, 
Why are they fighting this whole system? Kasi nga, hindi mga wala na sila sa trabaho. Mga Yon. Wala na, Self-serving. Kasi nga, I agree with you there. Mga wala na sila na mawawala ng scoop. Kasi before, when, when these information um, are not available publicly, sila yung tatakbuhan ng tao para, ma, para magkaroon ng information. That's And why they have to demonize all of us who are yes. capable of it. Yes. Diba? We have to be demonized in the in the face of uh, their own literature and their literature will subsist through history. They have mm. it in writing, they have it in digital form, they have it in libraries. May ISBN yung kanilang literature. Yung sinulat mo, sinulat ko, sinulat ni TP, they will all be uh, uh, garbage by the time. Di ba? Mm. Sinulat ng lahat ng mga nandito, lahat ng comments natin dito, these are all just rubbish. Noise. Oh, kita mo si ano? Um, sino ba to? Kita mo yung Malacanang Press Corps. Bakit ayaw nila ng vlogger dyan? Kasi kakumpetensya eh. Kakumpetensya hmm. yan sa ano eh, sa, sa pag-deliver ng information. Ano talaga yan? Can you imagine? I was in Congress the other day. I was like there to to attend the turnover of budget um budget um hearing and i was doing live a budget hearing to turnover lang ng 2023 budget uh-huh. and naglive ako um you know introducing what's going on etc ganyan and then someone approached me from congress na patigilin daw muna yung live ko at tong tinanong ko andong tinanong ko bakit eh may mga media kasi na nagsabi Mm-hmm. Alam mo na. Ako naman, oh, okay. Kasi nga, you know, I'm delivering it yung yung nangyayari doon ng mm. real time. Eh sila, mm. magpaprocess pa yan. Bupunta pa yan, nahanap pa yan ng angle. Mm. At, yeah, uh, kaya nga. Kaya nga, precisely, no, precisely. And uh, they, they, they want to be at the helm of everything that uh, they want to government does. Like, for example, oh, ito na lang mga appointments na ginagawa ng isang bagong uh, bagong bagong administration any administration for that matter okay uh, they want to be at the helm of all of those things kapag ayaw nila titirahin nila titatahang ng sa matanggal yun nga yung sinasabi no even if si TP yung yung namuno at saka si 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 sino to si Tonying yung namuno dun sa pagpapa revise ng appointment doon sa isang ginawa ni BBM na kesyo, meron daw utak. Di ba, sa amin, who are you to second guess the president's appointments? And what are these uh, past, uh, past issues? Why, will, why should it figure into this, into this whole thing? Don't you think those things were not considered? But because ang ingay nyo, you see, they're able to flex their muscles and they're able to influence the decisions of Malacanang. And how is your country going to move forward with that kind of uh, environment? Diba? Now, yeah. even if you have issues about people, bantayan nyo kung anong ginagawa niya. But, yeah. do, do not, do not, uh, the, the media has no business. Even us, we have no business, uh, alam mo yun, prejudging appointments pini prejudge natin kung nare yung sila sila sino yung matanda na profesor okay pag ito ginawa tong press secretary itong profesor na to ipi prejudge ko talaga to no yung taga UP ako, na isa pero oh, ako, I, ako noon I prejudge the appointment of Mark Villar but the thing oh. is Mark Villar proved himself correct eventually oh. And, oh. Eh, Hello naman, sino naman hindi mag-judge sa appointment ni Mark Villar? Oh. I, I told this to him before. Kasi mm. it's DPWH and your family is involved in real estate. Mm. And, and meron pang, syempre may issue you're pa yung... You're known to the farm to pocket roads. Diba meron pa yung, meron pang issue po, meron pang issue nun yung mga Villar, yung, da, yung daang hari, remember? Yeah, the farm to, farm to subdivision roads. Diba yung mga ganyan? Kaya sabi ko, mapipadaling mapiprejudge mo talaga. Diba? Pero I never campaign na matanggal naman si Mark Villar or, or tanggalin. Ang sabi ko lang is... You can okay. criticize. Diba? So they, they will be on their toes. 
na there is a possible ano, um, conflict of interest here. At sina, sinasabi ko yun sa kanya nung, nung nakita ko siya noon. Pero eventually, you know, Mark Villian proved okay. himself. He, he's actually the best DPWH secretary we ever had. Aminin mo yan, JP. Yes. Doing DP, kuwing DPWH ang pinag-uusapan sa napakahabang panahon, ang isip talaga oh. natin, ay nako, ganyan din ba talaga? No, no, no. Ay, oh. Diba? Oh. But under DPWH, Mark Villar, you never hear him, ano, hear na Mark Villar was corrupt. Even, even, even Ping Lakson who likes to make an issue about oh. everything, said that na wala akong oh. naririnig sa you, Mark Villar, in, in, a, in a hearing. Oh, and, and, and he introduced a lot of uh, young 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 stuff into the into the entire um, into the entire uh, shebang no uh, he introduced satellite monitoring of projects <laughs> diba and making all of those things that uh, actually uh, prove people like you to be wrong no yeah. and you know, that is should... that is how it should work hindi yung hindi yung magdedemand ka talaga ng diba you can criticize at the beginning na ito ay may potential issues. Ganun. That's, that's it. Pero yung magdidemand yung media na ito hindi po pwede, itong taon to, kailangan magtanggalin. Magdidemand yung isang senador, ikikere naman ng media na yung secretary ng agriculture ay kailangan punuan. Ano nga ka eh, yes, ano, we, should, we should approach these things na kasi kakasimula pa lang, hindi pa nga natin alam kung anong gagawin niya sa trabaho. No? Hello na parang... Ay, ay, you you can even appoint there a murderer and see if the murderer you know if, if the murderer is capable pero the thing is you know let's ano muna cambio muna kasi give these people a chance to prove themselves especially last time daw ba yung C5 C5 is almost C5 is there it's finished diba C5 is finished and if you look at the if you look at the, what what about the C5 extension the C5 extension is very is a very nice highway. I, I use that going to Cavite. And uh, if that is your issue against uh, Manny Villar before, that project has been going on since the time of Pinoy and um, it was just continued. I mean, government projects, kasi they do not get to be finished uh, immediately. Like like right now, no? Uh, uh, balikan ko lang yung issue sinimulan ko kahapon. I really went to that uh, convention center which I was talking about at the beginning of yesterday's program and I took pictures. And uh, it has been three terms now. Three mayoral terms. This is the third term. So th imagine that six, six and something years. Since the city um, uh, withdrew from an approved loan from Land Bank or DBP of 350 million, Bo and then deposited it to their account, and then continued paying interest for the entire amount. At hindi pa rin tapos yung construction. Yan ang may kabulas, Tugan. Yan ang may, may problema. ba? At yan yung mga libu-libong proyekto ng local government units na nag, which, calls, which puts to question yung viability ng inaasahan nating changes, yung inaasahan natin development, yung inaasahan natin economic progress that will come out of this supposed shift to federalism. Ano yung issue? Tinanong ko kanina, anong naging problema pare? Sabi nung isang uh, parang ano ata yan, uh, supervisor doon, hindi naman niya ako kilala kung sino ako, hindi pa daw dumadating yung upuan at wala daw silang pintura. Pintura? My God, nagbabayad yung aming syudad ng interest sa utang na yan. Buwan-buwan, pintura problema nyo. O ito, si Sir Ed. Bambang. O, Bamban, tarlak. O, Bamban, tarlak. Hindi daw yan nagpo-progreso. Bakit? Dahil bago makapasok yung isang 7-Eleven, eh kailangan hingian ng ganito ganyan ng mga requisitos huwag na natin banggitin kung magkano at kung sino all of those corrupt practices put it all together systemic yun eh hindi yan nagkukure ng constitution <coughs> di ba Has? <coughs> and you cure those cancers mm. di ba? 
Well, you know, a lot a lot of this corruption kasi works because money are exchanging hands in cold mm. cash. Diba? Once you once you digitalize it kasi, ang dami-dami niya mawawala. And then the corrupt there will still be corruption, but the corruption will be will not be um um coming from taking taking money from from the government's coffers. It's more will be about bribery ganyan. Yung yung mga ganyan, pero yung nanakawin yung pera mo na yung oh. yung taxpayers money on it. It it would be it 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 would become impossible if you digitalize everything. And that's that that makes it so difficult to digitalize and to have that systemic change. Yes. Kita. Marami makikita. And okay, si Rain, si Rain is uh, saying here, no. Uh the C5 scandal, no, was redeemed by uh, Mark Villar's uh, performance in Deep WH. You know, the C5 scandal only became a scandal because they wanted to destroy Manny Villar's chances of becoming president. Yes! Ano yun eh? It became a scandal like that. Pero ang alam ko, dyan, parang, mag, mag, parang naging mas mura ata yung, yung ginasas ng government. Something like that. Yes! In fact, oh, like, 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 look. Where is, where is Jojo Binay now? He's running for senator. Was he convicted for that uh, parking no. lot in Pati? No. No. You see, we were all entertained with scandals by our god the media and their cohorts in the Senate making up all of these investigations prior to elections, just like the Farmalis thing, and not even find anything substantial. Okay, once again, yung pinagsasasabi nila dyan sa ating intro kanina na video, the Farmali, the Farmali, the Farmali did not have any findings. Okay? That is what I debunked in in, in, in the Philippine Star's uh, fact check about uh, the COA. Sabi niya, it was already found in the Senate. No, it was never found because there was never a Blue Ribbon Committee report. And without a report, that investigation was just a sham. That was just a shameful, uh, shameful extravaganza that occupied space, had mass, and cost the Filipino people a lot of money with no output, no, uh, no positive result except destroying credibilities of people. So from now on, you will remember Duterte as one who has been engaged in a in a in a scandal of uh, purchasing overpriced uh, PPEs during the middle of a pandemic. Walang kapuso puso. Alam niyo ba kung bakit yun naging problema? Look back at what the DTI did in 2018. They established or they 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 announced to the world that there, okay, hindi pala to DTI, FDA, okay, FDA announced to the world that they will be uh, imposing certain standards to be uh, uh, to be met by right then and right there in the middle of that um, those months which will make it very difficult to import PPEs, masks, and everything else. They didn't know that the COVID will come. But when it came, one of the first things that, that uh, made it very difficult to import stuff was that preemptive actions by preemptive action by the DTI and the DOH. Kasi si DTI pa rin yung mag-import eh. Sino ba yun? Si Amid ba yun? Yung sasalita. Hindi. Ano po sa akin yun? Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, at the end of the day, yung corruption hindi natin yan makukure with federalism. Marami tayong federalist uh, governments all over the world which also has corruption. You can go to the other side. To be... Okay? Pero ayun, ayun, ayun na nga eh, na, you know, a lot, a lot of these corrupt, uh, corrupt, corrupt practices, um, you know, Law is not always the answer. Kasi law, there, there's always a, a way to evade the law. Hello. Parang, hello guys. Kayo pa nga lang sa pamilya ninyo, nag, nag-set ng rulang magugulang ninyo, napaka-created na ninyo para, 
para iskirt around yung rule ng mga magulang ninyo. Batas pa kaya? So, you know, that's why you have to to to, to be more creative in resolving this. Sabi nga ni BBM, di ba? Uh, corruption is a human condition. And and he's correct there. And he was lambasted. Parang, ano pa nga bang corruption? Di ba? <laughs> you know, BBM was just like simply uh, saying a, 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 a truism actually already, no? Na, it's a human condition. And naka, naka-mute ka. So the, so the, so the, the, I know, the, I know. you know, the, the things that you do here is that you change the way things are being done. Diba? Mm-hmm. Na, malili, na, na matatanggal mo yung kung, kung baga sa military terminology that you will destroy the line of supply. Alam mo yun, yung ganyan. Correct. Supply side. Supply, supply, ano, di ba? Supply side yung aanihin mo. Di ba? Parang sa droga din yan, di ba? Yung kay Duterte, di ba? Actually, twin yung kanya, eh. demand and supply yung tinira niya pareho. Eh. Yan, din, yan din actually gusto nilang gawin sa media. A supplier, supplier, uh, uh, supply side uh, economics of uh, of uh, mass media. Of information. Is, of information, which is actually, uh, okay, we already discussed this. This is so full of shit. Sham, okay? Because everywhere you go, it is a demand side stuff. When you analyze things, when you want to improve something, you analyze the demand, not the supply. Your supply must uh, bend to the demand. But, okay, tomorrow, ito pala yung ating antabayan na, 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 na paaga tayo sa announcement kahapon. But anyway, magandang topic yan. And uh, knowing that Robin Padilla has uh, the lowest point from the committee to work on, malakas ang aking kutob, Robin Padilla mamamayag pagbukas sa kanyang hearing. Kahit ano pang gawin niya doon, kahit na magtambling-tambling siya, o di kaya mag, magtsaleko lang siya. Tsaka, Ito sabi ni Mark Wilson, ano daw, hmm. pwede naman magpedal tayo, pero matagal, it needs to be set up first. Maybe we need at least 10 years. Actually, 10 years is already a very liberal estimation. Guys, mm. when you when you this is this is not just ordinarily setting up a company, ha. This is restructuring uh, the administra- administrative cap- uh, administration um, levels of an entire country, and yeah. with training of people, palang eh. You you can you imagine in a federal system, every federal state would have its own supreme court, would have mm. its own would have its own, um, all, all the different departments that you're seeing right now. All those things, tax collection, etc. You have to set up not just the systems necessary to make those uh, departments work. You will also have to establish, um, to train people. You would also have to uh, establish uh, work, um, ano to? Um, uh, oper- operational um, systems. Then, yeah. Na, it, 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 it's not gonna happen in our lifetime. Yun ang ak- naka, and, uh, estimate. And one thing that we must prepare also is the fact that the government, if you will divide that into, let's say, for example, 14, 14 times its current uh, current uh, setup. Oh, no, no, not divide, but multiply. Divide and multiply by 14 times. We will have so many vacancies in government. All of us will probably go there. And then uh, we will also have to contend with the issue now of uh, who will be working in our domestic. Ano. So, we will import din tayo ng labor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Labor that we should prepare for if we truly want it. Because hindi to, hindi to biro, ah, ang, ang restructuring ng administration levels ng government. Hindi po, hindi, hindi to, ano nga, mag-restructure nga ng company, nakakaloka na eh. Mag-restructure pa kaya ng administrative levels ng government. It's, it's ano, right. tama yan, magkakaroon ng shortage, um, kailangan mong punuan yung mga ano niyan. Ang daming, ang daming, daming pwede mangyari, meron pang political, meron pang mga political upkeepers mangyayari. Kasi what if yung isang province ayaw niya dito sa isang state na to? Then they have to, Alam mo yun, may mga ganyan-ganyan pati. May mga local may mga local politics pang involved. Hindi, hindi yan as simple as kung anong wili lang nasa taas na sabi, susunod na yung mga probinsya. Eh, paano ko yung probinsya? Gusto niya mag- magsarili siya. Yes, and meron nagsabi sa atin kanina na US, no? 
if they really believed in their federal system and then uh, we were patterned against their ano uh, their uh, their government setup they would have brought down that federalist system from the very beginning but uh, they were afraid of it or they, they were not ano uh, i think they were of more of afraid of it why See the united states when they uh, set up our government yeah. they were more of afraid of it that's why we have in our constitution a provision that says bawal yung um, titles of nobility well, because na uh, magkakahati-hati tayo well they, they are more... afraid of it you know uh, um archipelago within the mm. discussion to eh, jp eh, yes that, we already uh, discussed this we, we don't with, within those coordinates And they know that the Philippines had different political, independent political communities already. Correct. So if they federalize, ang magiging tendency niyan is maghiwalay. for... Maghihiwalay. Maghihiwalay. Babalik sa pre-colonial setup ang Pilipinas. Correct. And then we will become open to be colonialized by another superpower. Maybe alam not mga, Alam niyo mga ganyan, gusto talaga nilang mamunok. Um, gusto nilang i-unite yung country. It's really for their own purposes. Correct. Kaya tama si Ma'am Nila sa kanyang comment. <laughs> Unfortunately, wala na pong kape dahil alas 12 na. Kaya bukas naman. Sana nandyan pa rin si Sas. O di kaya kahit sino sa inyo is actually invited and very very willing kami nga. Ano, even if dilawan kayo, we will take you seriously. We do not want to, ano, we do not want to antagonize anyone I mean, here. Mark, but... Should we go parliament rather than federal? Well, transitioning into a parliamentary system is easier than federal. Kasi change siya laman po ng, finish lang naman po ng the way you mm. vote. You're gonna mm. vote. Pero so, may mga... Two, two subjects yan, di ba? Oo, oh, sa- magkahiwalay po yan. Hindi oh, po yan magkakasin. Yeah. At, at yung parliamentary system, may building blocks din yan. And Gloria Arroyo, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, is already, already laying down some of it. Yung, yung sinile niya, yung, yung anti-balimping law na hindi ka, na pag lumipat ka ng political, na pag, na pag lumipat ka ng ibang party, hindi ka pwedeng tumakbo in next election. Those are necessary yes. agents for a parliamentary system to be able to work. Correct. Hindi pwede yung ano, hindi yung pwedeng yung yung ating uh, sistema ngayon na lipat-lipat. But actually, uh, according na uh, dito sa yung sinasabi ko ng mga think tanks who are uh, referring to this type of government as a Newtonian government system. Etong uh, itong itong uh, rigidity ng party system is actually according to their uh, ano uh, is an obsolete way of thinking. Okay? In fact, in fact, in fact, ang sabi nga nila The future, the future of governance is um, about ano, uh, personality-based na ano na. Adit future na pala tayo. Adit future hmm? na pala tayo. Future na pala tayo kung personality-based policy. Naon na tayo don. In fact, as I said ko nga, eh, itong Pilipinas, our political system, we're so advanced. The world is looking at us. We are the future Jerusalem. Sige na, sige na Jay. Saan ka tayo mapunta? Bye. Yes. bye, bye, bye. Magano tayo magtutugtog tayo ng rock. Rock tayo, rock, rock, rock. Salamat sa inyong pakiki... pakikinig at pagsusubaybay ngayon. Tabi.